Do you live in a desert? Do you live somewhere where you have to drive through a giant forest to get anywhere you want to go? Are you a movie star or the former governor of California? If yes, we have the vehicle for you. This is the Milspec H1, and it's what happens when the boutique resto modding movement gets a hold of America's second favorite military vehicle. Spec H1 starts its life as your standard Hummer H1. It's then put through a hefty, hefty retrofitting process. Literally the only things that stick around are the bones of the truck. The interior is all new. The powertrain has been revamped with a 6.6 liter Duramax V8. There's also an Allison 1000 transmission and the result is 520 horsepower and a thousand pound feet of torque. This vehicle, this 7,400 pound vehicle, can get to 60 miles an hour in about five and a half seconds. We're not gonna do that right now because we're driving up and down Woodward Avenue the day before the Woodward Dream Cruise, and there's a, quite a lot of traffic, and this is a very wide vehicle on a very narrow piece of road, but I'm gonna talk you through a little bit about what it's like to drive. And the immediate thing is, it feels good. I expected with big 38 inch tires that it was gonna be all over the road, there's a great deal of tire roar, which is to be expected, but I'm doing, what am I doing? About 45 miles an hour and it's tracking straight and true. The steering has a very good sensation to it. It doesn't feel loose or squiggly like, a, like you'd expect in, in an older truck. Uh, there is a little bit of tracking from, from the tires, but it's not that hard to deal with. The brakes are excellent. They're inboard. They are slotted and ventilated. There is an optional six piston wheelwood setup, but these are the standard brakes. And honestly, unless you're doing brake checking, I don't really see any reason to go with anything else. They feel pretty good. I'll give it a little bit of gas. So this is a 6.6 liter Duramax V8, but it's been modified a little bit. There's new turbos, there's some other internal bits and bobs to create the power that it does. It's a little bit coaly, which is, you know, you expect of a high-powered diesel, but the engine itself feels great. The transmission is quick to respond. Um, there's so much torque that it doesn't really need to drop down too much. It's, it's worth pointing out that this is not the atmosphere that this vehicle is designed for. It's designed to bomb over sand dunes in the UAE or deal with the Russian wilderness in Siberia. Those are two of the big markets that Milspec has said that they're getting attention from for this vehicle. And it makes sense. We're obviously not driving it there, but I've little doubt that with these tires and with the other work that's been done, that this thing would be an absolute beast on a sand dune. It's got air conditioning. They actually upgraded the air conditioning over the standard Hummer, which was terrible. It's a hot, muggy, 80 degree day here in Detroit, but I'm very, very comfortable. It feels good. There is only one fan setting, it's on or off, but you can turn it on for the front and the back independently. I did want to talk about a little bit about this interior because it's it's all new. This is completely retrofitted. None of this is held on from the donor Hummers that, that serve as the bones for the Milspec H1. The seats are comfortable. There's limited adjustability, but there's enough. Because of the, the way the powertrain is laid out, I literally can't reach all the way across the center console without stretching. That's how far I have to stretch to reach the other side of it. So if you want to hold your sweetie's hand while you're driving along, it's going to be a challenge. It all feels very cool. This leather is very nice. It, it all works with the aesthetic of the vehicle. So this one is $240,000. It includes the cost of the donor vehicle. And the build time is about three to five months. But for a bespoke, military vehicle that, that feels like something that you know a mercenary band would drive it doesn't seem unreasonable the tricky thing will be finding one this is number three of 12 so there are six orders available as I'm driving this vehicle so if you're one of the six people in the world that needs the craziest off-road vehicle I've ever driven they're who to call
Normally when we do one of these videos, I've driven the car for a few days before getting behind the wheel. In this case, I've never even driven a Hummer H1 before this. So what you're seeing were my very first impressions. But based on those, I'm very excited about what Milspec is doing. We're gonna work on getting one of these for a longer period so we can deliver a proper video to you. When that happens, I guarantee you'll look forward to it. I really wish you guys could see this right now because I'm, I'm behind a Cadillac Escalade and it looks like a Power Wheels car in this thing. It's, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Can they see it? Yeah. Oh, well done, James.